Let me tell you about one of those students. I've opened up on my website, my official website, uh, a place where those who have student loans and want to share their stories can come. Anna Wilcox, who's 31 years old, did. She attended the Brooks Institute of Photography, a for-profit college owned by the Career Education Corporation. Anna Wilcox saw a TV ad one day about this so-called Brooks Institute of Photography and decided she would call and inquire. Well, the school called her twice a day until she finally enrolled. The recruiter at the school, this Career Education Corporation school, told her that a Brooks degree would help her make $85,000 a year as a photographer. So Anna enrolled, and when she graduated in 2006, she had a debt of about $170,000, almost all of it in private student loans. Anna was 24 years old, $170,000 student debt from this for-profit school. With a variable interest rate that went as high as 18%, her balance just kept growing. Her monthly payments on her private student loan now exceed $1,000 a month. Her federal loans that she took out as well had low interest rates. She says those payments are reasonable and she can handle them. Her parents decided to help her out and co-signed on the loans. Now her parents in their 60s are on the hook as well. They have to change their life plans because they wanted to help their daughter, and now they're stuck with a debt of $170,000 for a worthless diploma from a for-profit school. Well, Anna did find a job, but the job doesn't pay anywhere near $85,000 a year. She just can't keep up with these staggering monthly loan payments. She said she'd like to file for bankruptcy, clean the slate, and start over. You see, she can't borrow money to go to a real school. She's wasted her borrowing power on these for-profit schools. Well, it doesn't do her any good to want to file for bankruptcy. Private student loans are not dischargeable in bankruptcy. If you sign up as a student, a college student, for one of these student loans, it is a debt that will follow you for a lifetime. There is no way to escape it. That's something to think about long and hard when students make that decision. Anna is very blunt and despondent. She said she made a big mistake going to the school. It was a waste. She thought she would get a better life by going to college. She didn't realize these for-profit schools, by and large, are a waste of money and debt that most students can never pay back. She has bad credit now and a mountain of debt to show for it. So what are we going to do about it? We're going to say, well, Anna, you should have been a little bit smarter when you were 19 years old and sat across the desk from somebody who said, we want you as a college student. You made your mistake, girl. That's the way it works in America. Now you've got to pay your price. Is that the answer? Is that the answer when these for-profit schools depend on the federal government and taxpayers for 85 to 95 percent of all the revenue they take in? If these for-profit schools, if you took the federal money we send their way, Mr. President, if these for-profit schools were a federal agency, it would be the ninth largest federal agency in America. That's how much money we're pouring into these for-profit schools.